hi guys welcome back to my channel this is fancy stitches and compliment of this season so guys today i'm about to show you guys how to attach your cape to your bridal robe and this is a requested video so i'll show you both the stitching parts like as you can see now i'm doing this bridal robe for a client for her bridal shower and i've already cut my material and in my previous video i've in my previous video i did a video how to cut a kimono bridal robe so but since this is a requested video and as you can see i'm done with my cutting then i'm going to show to show you how i attach my caplet to my to my brow bridal robe so guys keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so let's get Wait into head to cut about five inches width let me show you five inches width five inches width of uh my material my brighter satin material then the full the full length which is 60 inches i cut two of it as you can see i cut two of it then i'm going now to my machine to stitch these two these two fabric together now then after stitching i'll stitch up this part so guys now um i went ahead to dry my bridal robes together before attaching my cape i'll first of all sew my bridal robes together like what i'm doing here now i'm joining my shoulder i'm joining the shoulder of my bridal robe Here I went ahead to cut piece a long pieces of material for my belt loops and also for the in, inner belt. I'll be using it as my belt loops and my inner belt. To cut my belt loops, I measured about six inches length and cut two pieces. Two pieces of it and also for the inner belt i measured about eight inches and also cut two pieces of it and i'll be attaching this this to my to my robe now to attach my belt holder i placed my tape hope you guys can see that i placed my tape just like this at my armhole and measured about five and a half inches which is her waist measurement then five and a half inches and also come down by two inches then for my shaping for my hemming allowance i gave about one one inch for my stitching allowance i gave about one inch all the way Then for the inner belt that you will tie around your waist, I'll be attaching it at the middle of my belt holder, which is here. You can see that, guys. So here, I'm placing it like this. Then stitch it up together. I 
and also i want to apologize for dropping this video so late my system had an issue so i had to go and fix it so bear with me I went ahead to open it up then to fix my cape I started from the damp part So guys, after attaching my my 5 inches band on fold, this is what I have. Then I use the opportunity to to attach my sleeve to my browder rope. So you guys, you can see how how beautiful the rope is looking. This is how it's meant to be. You tie it in. This is the inner belt. So this is how it's meant to be. So guys, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like, comment and share this video. Thank you guys for watching. See ya. Bye.